Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing some RoboCop on the Commodore 64. Um, and I do remember when I first got to play this game, it was really exciting. It actually was my friend that had it. Um, he came home from, the, I guess they went to the store, the mall, or wherever. And I remember I was outside on my porch, and he, he came out, he's my next door neighbor, and he's like, I got RoboCop! And I'm like, what? I didn't even know that it even existed on the, you know, on the computer, on the Commodore 64, or anywhere. I mean, I knew there was the arcade version of it, which I really liked, but I didn't know that it was ported onto these, uh, you know, had a home ver version of it. And so we naturally went and played the heck out of it. Now, this game is very hard, at least to me it is, it's pretty hard, but in fairness, so is the arcade version. I mean, the arcade version was designed to take your quarters, and that's what it did. Um, especially in the later levels where you, you got everything shooting at you. Um, so usually when, when they make a home version of it, like on a console or on a computer, you'd expect it to be a little bit easier because, you know, it's not about taking your quarters anymore. But that's not really the case on this one. Um, the other thing I want to say about it is that there is a few parts of this game that I think were kind of broken. Um, I don't know, I, I remember we had to find a trick to try and get around it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it does have a similarity to the arcade. In fact, I think all of the RoboCop games that went onto the computers and onto the consoles uh, pretty much were similar. Anyways, let's get to playing the game. So, I have it on pause here. I'm going to take it off and pause. There we go. Now, I did feature this uh, game, uh, funny enough, in my uh, favorite songs. Um, video I did, or, or video game songs, because I thought this has a pretty interesting audio soundtrack. Uh, so let's start playing. As you see, it's kind of got a little bit of a talking piece to it. Um, so there's Robocop down there. He's tiny. Uh, the game, they had to scale it down to, to work on a Commodore 64. But, I mean, it's the same concept. Uh, you do have a timer up there, so I do need to get my butt moving. Uh, but you'll see these guys kind of like appear and just start shooting at you. Um, I love how they explode when you kill them. <laughs> it's like, I think they do that in almost every Robocop game. They just like explode the, uh, the, the, key, the characters. But you can see it when they're shooting. They're either shooting at that one diagonal angle or a straight angle. So you can kind of get used to where the bullets are going to go. Um, I'm not doing a very good job there of doing that. But... You know, as far as timing this game and learning where they're going to appear and where they're going to shoot, um, you can you can do that, and um, like they're not really random. Uh, actually, at one point, I, I remember playing this game so much, I pretty much could clear this whole level uh, without even getting hit, because I got used to where everybody was going to be, when they were going to shoot. Um, you know, but that was a long time ago. That was when I was a kid. I, I don't remember everything anymore. It's you know, some of it's still there, but <laughs> I mean, that's that's going to happen to anybody that revisits these games after a very, very long time of playing it. Now, I, w I would like to get some food. I know there's f food things will appear at some point. Ah, disintegrated. <laughs> like I said, this game is not easy. I always liked that, too, when uh, we first heard him say RoboCop, we, we both looked at each other and said, did he say Robocop or Apple Cop? Or Apricot? Or something else. It didn't sound like it said Robocop. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the voice simulation. Uh, we get what we can take in this type of uh, environment on a Commodore 64. There wasn't a whole lot of games that had talking in it. Um, like Impossible Mission had it, and Ghostbusters had it. And um, I, there's not, not a whole lot that I could really think of that had talking. I'm sure there's a, a good list of them, but um, it was always nice to get a game that talked. Although oftentimes when, when the game did talk, you would notice that it would have the game would have to sort of stop. Um, it wouldn't uh, the game wouldn't be playing essentially um, when the, when the talking was happening. So if you uh, check out, like, Impossible Mission... Oh, I'm, I'm not doing too good here. If you check out Impossible Mission, for instance, he talks in the beginning before, you, before the game starts, and then uh, when you enter a new level, uh, he might say something. The uh, 
Elvin, I think his name is, he'll say something before you uh, begin playing. Alright. So that's like, I think I got the one of the, the stronger weapons. Oh, I needed that power boost. Okay, unlike the arcade, you don't get faced with Ed 209. In fact, I believe in this one, uh, Ed 209 is the very last person you have to fight. Now this is an interesting uh, thing that they changed, too. Um, if you've seen the movie Robocop, which uh, probably a lot of you have, the original, not the, not the remake. Uh, I don't want to talk about the remake. <laughs> but if you've seen the original Robocop, uh, you'll, you'll know this scene very well, and that's where the guy has the girl hostage, essentially with a knife, and they were trying to uh, sexually abuse her. <laughs> and, and Robocop, you know, perfect timing, shows up and uh, demands to let the woman go. And of course, the guy thinks that he can stop Robocop by putting a knife to her, and uh, that was his mistake. This Robocop can shoot uh, with precise... Um, well, I guess precision, <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say, and gets him right in the Kiwis. Probably one of the more iconic epic scenes in the movie. I mean, the whole movie's got, like, full of iconic epic scenes. Holy crap, that last motorcycle just almost took me out. Darn. I don't know if I'm going to get past this level. No! Oh, darn it. Now that's the other thing too. I don't believe there's a, a way to continue. I'm trying to remember now if there was a trick to uh, continuing with this onto the stage that you just died on, because otherwise you always start right back at the beginning, and th and that can be frustrating for some of these type of games, especially when they're this hard. I mean, the bullets seem to do a lot of damage to you. Which is weird, because Robocop, in the movie, the bullets literally just bounce off of him. Like, he's titanium and stuff, and Ke Kev Kevlar, I think they said, with titanium. So the bullets literally just bounce off of him. They pretty much need the Cobra gun to do any kind of real damage to him. Which, uh, I think they fail at. <laughs> they, don't, they don't really get him, but... I think the Cobra Gun does make its way into this game. Um, probably won't get far on this one. This, this one is hard. It did take me a long time of playing this game to actually get anywhere. And, and like I said, you know, th I think at the beginning actually, or I think I mentioned this at the beginning, uh, there is something that I think is broken about this game, and I think it's the third level. Um, essentially the, the level with the cocaine factory. Um, I don't think they give you enough time to actually complete it. And I remember trying a few times, and uh, when I was a kid, my friend and I, we actually figured out, I don't know if it's a bug or something, but there was a way to kind of jump in front of the wall, a, a wall, and actually go through it. <laughs> Almost like it was a false wall. I don't know if that's always going to be the case, you know, if it's going to work on this, or if it was just a glitch, or what. But that was the only way we could figure out how to be beat that that um, that level because you literally, even if you went untouched and and you know as fast as you possibly can, you'd always run out of time. It looks like I got him. Yeah, that's an interesting one there. Yeah, you, ha you have to shoot the guy. Obviously, you, c you can shoot the girl, but you don't want to because it takes your life away. And if you shoot her too many times, you uh, lose. <laughs> Ooh. Gotta get, gotta get that motorcycle, cause that that thing takes a chunk of life like that. Oh, oh no, <laughs> no, no. Let's give it one more, one more go. Robocop. Now there is some similarities, obviously, to this in the arcade and. Um, the uh, NES version, actually, you know, similar. There's a lot of similar stuff to the NES version, too. Although in the NES version, um, and I believe also in the arcade, too, uh, you, you punch in the beginning. You don't use your gun, which is weird. Like, he starts off just punching things, and then he gets to a point where he draws the gun. And 
you're like, why would why would you design it that way? <laughs> but as I said, this has a pretty funky soundtrack. Okay. I think it just this just requires a little bit of patience. And, and knowing which weapons to keep uh, bullets. You, you notice that there's those little boxes that are dropping every once in a while. Those are just bullets. Different bullet packages. So you could have like a scatter weapon. I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> you, can you can have a scatter weapon. Oh, food. Food. Don't go anywhere. Uh, I find the scatter weapons okay. It just doesn't seem like it's too much different than, you know, as far as power f is concerned. Uh, but it is handier for those guys in the windows, because you might be able to hit them both. These guys just blow away like splatter, like nothing. I'm going to see if I can pass that second level. Also, again, in, in the uh, NES version on this, you, you don't have this kind of thing. You have an end boss. Um, I think they were trying to... You know, with the arcade version, it was the targeting practice, where you had to, like, hit the, the targets. Uh, and it was more of a bonus thing. Like, this is not a bonus thing. That that thing, like, if you don't pass that, you lose. Like, it's not about bonus points or anything like that. It's actually, like, you need to pass that. Now, that's the weapon I think I need to beat the motorcycles. I think it's, like, one-shot kills. Yeah, see? need that weapon to blow the motorcycles up or they just trash you like they just run right through you <laughs> you see one shot and just boom they're your biggest threat on this board oh no got the scatter gun oh see I got two guys at once there see it does come in handy sometimes but I find the uh, the angle that that thing scatters at to be a little bit odd. Um, like I said before, the the shooting in this it's either that one diagonal or straight forward. Ooh, more motorcycles! I'm just gonna keep firing like crazy to try and hit those motorcycles. Is this the end? Did I make it to the end? Oh, I made it to the end. Now on level two. Jeez, I thought that was level two. Okay, so this is level two now. So we got to do this matching part. This is tricky. Uh, you really have to pay attention to what's oh, what the different body facial parts are. What? what? I thought I had that. Uh, you gotta be quick. <laughs> when it lands on the part, you know that it's that part. You gotta be really fast. You gotta look for those little subtle details in there. Yeah, obviously it's not the mustache. So, ah, oh, I clicked too fast. <laughs> but it's cool that they had that in there because that was a that was a big part of the movie, or not big part, but that was a cool part of the movie when he goes into that uh, data center in the police station and, oops, I went the wrong way, and uh, he puts his uh, interface needle in to the computer and scans through all the images and he matches up uh, Emil's face that he saw at the gas station that said he killed you or I killed you or we killed you or <laughs> kind of you know made him wonder who he was as a cop but yeah so this level this is the cocaine uh, part where you know after he matches Emil and I guess he figures out where he has to go um, but this is the level I said is really hard and um, I don't I don't think it's, it's, it's passable without, you know, some form of cheating. Um, because it really doesn't give you enough time. Like, it says two minutes there. But, I mean, it, the, you got to be, like, pixel perfect on these stairs, which I'm, I'm, I seem to have a hard time sometimes getting down. Like right now, I'm trying to go down them. Uh, I don't know if I have to push down. Come on. You know, this, oh, there we go. It's like a <laughs> pixel perfect. Ah, oh, jeez, I got annihilated right there. Uh, 
that's nuts. Uh. Ah. <laughs> okay, we gotta do this again. At least with this, you don't have to pass it. I think it's just a bonus if you do pass it. What are we looking for here? Oh man, this, they all look the same to me now. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's that one big mustache -y thing. There. Okay, that gre grinchy look to him. The big fat eyebrows. Ah, oh, I ran out of time! <laughs> so hard. Ah. The stairs in this are brutal. It's funny, you know, it's it's kind of like in Castlevania, where going on the stairs is is, is always a hard, you know, problematic. Uh, I find going down them is even worse. Uh, of course, I'm using a gamepad, and that's probably what part of my problem is. It would be better on a joystick, because I really don't remember having this hard of a time with the stairs when I played it uh, with the actual. Well, you know, back then I think I used an Atari joystick when I played this game. Duck the bullets. But yeah, I, I remember there there was some kind of cheat where I, we were able to like walk through one of those walls. All right, go down, go down. You can do it. Go down, go down, go down. <laughs> I can't get down. Oh no. Meanwhile, they're just shooting at me. Let's see if I can shoot that guy down there. Yeah, diagonal is, is always a problem with these uh, game pads. Ugh, come on. It's not hard. It's a staircase. <laughs> you could do it. See, I'm already, like, you know, for sure gonna run out of time now. Because I'm fooling around on these stairs. It's not down. Uh, I'm pushing down. Come on. Robocop. Do what you're told. New Prime Directive, walk downstairs. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> I can't get it. There we go. Oh, oh, slow. And he's going so slow, too. There. Uh. Oh, that was painful. Only, what, five more flights of stairs to go? Uh, stairs in video games. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Why couldn't these just, you know... make these easier. You know, you stand there, you just push down, you go down the dang stairs. Look. I'm pushing down, I'm pushing... There we go. It's like that one pixel you gotta hit. Ah, jeez! Oh, annihilated! Oh. Ah. So frustrating. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna get much further than that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, this game is fun. It's hard. It's... I don't know why, what it is. I think it's just the bullets... Uh, just do too much damage to you for for someone who's Robocop uh, who's got like this you know armor um, and of course like the timer now I could have cheated and I could have because uh, I'm using an emulator for this I could uh, at the very beginning it does ask you if you want unlimited lives and unlimited power or time and all that so I could do that um, but that that's really not really playing the game I mean that's just it's kind of like if you had a Nintendo and you use the game genie you know you're just cheating but anyways, yeah, it's a cool game. I always liked the Robocop franchise. I always gave it a shot. I gave the Nintendo version a shot. This one, I think I completed it once in my entire life when I was a kid. Because I remember getting to the end and seeing uh, the, the Ed 209 come out. But it was very hard. It was. It just took a lot of playing and a lot of getting used to the, you know, where everything's going to come from and how to get through that one level. And uh, Yeah, it's a, it's a hard game. Anyways, let me know what you think of Robocop for the Commodore 64. And uh, what what other you know ports have you played it on? Or do you play the Nintendo? Did you like the arcade or any other system that this game has been on? Anyways, hope you liked the video. Leave some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.